So let's kind of start with the basics. So what is a qubit? Uh, if this is the first time you're coming across some of these concepts, maybe if you're from more of a networking background rather than a quantum background, uh, this slide is going to give you the information that you'll need to know, at least for this talk, in the context of, of qubits. And you can also see some of our previous webinars on entanglement and uh, quantum teleportation, for example. So a qubit mathematically is just a bit which can exist as 0, 1, or any superposition of 0 and 1. Uh, qubits are often written in cat notation, which just involves putting a number which represents the state within um, a line and a, and a bracket. So here we have the 0 cat and the 1 cat representing different quantum states. Uh, in physics, a qubit is a system that has two energy levels uh, that's small enough or and isolated enough so that it can exist uh, in either of these two energy levels, but also in, in any superposition of the two energy levels. So in a quantum network, we can think about having two different types of qubits, uh, stationary qubits and photonic qubits, which I kind of mentioned a bit on the previous slide. Stationary qubits are these qubits which encode information, quantum information um, at the quantum repeaters or at the quantum nodes. And they generally stay st stationary and they don't move around. Uh, where the photonic qubits will carry uh, the quantum information um, between, between nodes or between nodes and repeaters. So physically, uh, a stationary qubit um, can be thought of uh, as a, a system with two energy levels. And one of these kind of most basic systems that people will use is um, an atom. So in this slide, we have a very kind of simplified picture of, of an atom. And um, an atom consists of a positively charged nucleus and a neg negatively charged electron. So uh, we know that uh, opposites attract, so the positive charge will want to be close to the negative charge, and it will require energy to pull the negative charge away from the positive charge. So one um, lower energy state would be a state where the uh, elect uh, electron and, and neutron are closer together, whereas a higher energy state would be a state where they're further apart. Um, Additionally, uh, because this is a quantum system, you would be able to have superpositions between these two um, energy states as well. So for photonic qubits, uh, there's different ways to encode quantum information within a photonic qubit, which we'll talk more about in um, later slides, but the photons will also have energy associated with them. So um, the Superposition can happen um, through uh, basically the same kind of um, su uh, superposition of either having this energy or not having this energy. Uh, in addition, because of a property of matter called uh, wave particle duality, uh, photons, which uh, are particles of light, uh, also have uh, wave-like properties. So they have both particle-like properties and wave-like pro properties. And because they have wave-like properties, they'll also have a single photon will have um, a, a frequency associated with it and a wavelength associated with it. So uh, we'll talk more about this as well later in the talk. So stationary qubits and photonic qubits can exist independently, uh, but quantum networks will require both. And there are exchanges of quantum information uh, between the two, which have to occur in a quantum network um, in order for us to basically communicate between both types of qubits. So throughout the, the rest of this talk today, we'll be getting into some of the details of some specific implementations of both stationary qubits and photonic qubits. So we'll be talking about some different types of solid state stationary qubits. We'll be talking about some types of atomic stationary qubits. And on the photonic qubit side, we'll be talking about uh, ways of encoding qubits into uh, photons. So we'll be talking about some rail encodings and um, other encodings as well, such as time bin, frequency bin, and polarization uh, encodings. Mm -hmm.